I've been making art since I was five years old. It's been a big part of my life. I don't think I would know who I am without it. So art is me and I am art. It's, it's like medicine for me. My name is Seth Fimental, um, AKA African Ginger. I'm a contemporary artist, painter, designer, illustrator, multidisciplinary artist. Um, it's well known for creating a, almost a pan-African neo-expressionistic art style, like combining painting and street art in one style. I grew up in a household where my gran was domestically abused and I witnessed that a lot as a kid because I was around her all the time. So for me, that was a very traumatic experience. And growing up as a guy, understanding that it's a, it's a, it's a vicious cycle of unchecked mental health leading to a violent approach, that's just the cycle. And I think knowing is half the battle. And I wanted to be completely aware of, you know, what gender-based violence is and what it's really doing and what, what causes it, you know. She passed away because of that. I buried it, you know? And that's what made me such an angry teenager. And that's what made me so, re like, rebellious, like, breaking stuff and just angry at the world, you know? And the older I got, the more I realized that I'm feeling upset because of my own mental health plus my own childhood traumas. What made me vocalize or be aware of my um, traumas and pain was making art. Healing is painful. It's not the easiest thing and the only way to be better is to sit with those dark thoughts that you don't want to have and process them. And by doing that, you actually become better and better as time progresses. So yeah, the only thing that made me become conscious of that was making art. I was like, why is my work so dark? Let me do a thorough analysis of myself. And then digging deeper and being like, oh, this was the reason this is so dark is because this, was, this is what influenced this approach. Okay, cool. Why did that influence this approach? Well, that happened to me when I was six. Okay, cool, makes sense. So we're about to head to the Kalashnikov Gallery to check out some of my works and speak to MJ Turpin, the gallery manager. Are you good? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Welcome back. It's good to be back, you know. These are more extensions on my solo show that I did in February this year called Why So Blue Brown Boy. That collection was quintessentially the birth of this conversation about emotions, vulnerability, masculinity. Um, wanting to speak about societal norms and societal conversations against men and men's mental health and prove and show that there are ways for men to deal with our emotions in a natural and healthy way as opposed to substance abuse and violence. We can express ourselves through conversation and vulnerability. So these are extensions of my almost vulnerable self or the most intimate parts of myself being displayed or exhibited 